Hi Box Modders. I wanted to make this video short and sweet as a request from uh, one of my friends who's been a long time member and uh, who's a great modder and has created a lot of good stuff. And so his question to me was, is PWM considered a kind of regulation? And it is. <clears throat> and I'm going to explain why. Now, first and foremost, if you go into Google and type uh, voltage regulator, and we'll do that now, because some of you motherfuckers, I can, I can tell you to Google something and you'll be like, it didn't come up that way, so I'm going to show you that it's going to come up that way. Voltage regulator. Okay, so you see, I typed in voltage regulator. All right, good enough. Voltage regulator. Now let's read what it says. <clears throat> the voltage regulator is designed to automatically maintain a constant voltage level. So, right there, one would think, well, PWM, the PWM design, the 555 PWM that I designed, doesn't do that. Um, <clears throat> well, yeah, you're right. It doesn't. That doesn't mean it's not a voltage regulator. Uh, and you're you're probably saying, but that does mean it's not a voltage regulator. No. And I'll show you why. Um, because the the default term, uh, or the default assumption made when we talk about voltage regulators is we're talking about automatic voltage regulators. And that's <clears throat> a modern thing. And it's a modern assumption that's made when we, we talk about every voltage regulator that's made, whether it's a a simple linear uh, regulator up to a an OKR um, or whatever, uh, the the thought is that it is automatic, and by and large that's true. Because if you have something that is a uh, a regulator, if you're designing something for commercial use, it's going to be automatic. But <clears throat> that is on a larger scope uh, and historically not the case. And I want to show you uh, an example of that. And this draws on my background as a generator technician. Um, in power generation, there still is, on some systems, a thing called a manual voltage regulator. And it is quite literally, if the automatic voltage regulator shits the bed, you can flip a switch and you have a dial you can turn on your own to adjust the, the voltage output of the generator. Now what does that sound like? That sounds like PWM. You personally control <clears throat> that output within the limits of the system. And that's exactly what you're doing. And this is from, and if you if you search for manual voltage regulator, uh, it'll come up, it's one of the, it's like a Cummins um, thing. Uh, it'll, it's a Cummins PW, uh, PWM and PDF getting mixed. It's a Cummins PDF that comes up that explains uh, just a little bit about this this particular voltage manual voltage regulator uh, device that they have for their um, for their units. And so it's an it's called an emergency. Or it's described as an emergency hand controlled excitation system. It can constitute an operational advantage for an AC generator. <clears throat> and it goes on talk about how it's not just for emergency use and you can use it for other stuff and that's true uh, manual regulation is actually pretty good for a couple other things with generators but that's way beyond the scope of this so that is exactly by definition what PWM is it is manual voltage regulation you are <clears throat> you are the interface that's trying to keep that voltage at whatever level you want it as opposed to uh, a feedback loop that's created by circuitry, the feedback loop is, oh, this vape isn't hot enough, or there's not enough vapor, I'm going to turn it up, and I'm going to hit it again. And that's that's the feedback loop, and that's the process. And that's and taught from the very beginning when you talk about industrial process control, is the difference between uh, manual and automatic, open loop, closed loop systems, all that stuff. Um, <clears throat> so. 
It's not, if you, if you don't deal with that stuff, then you Google it, oh, voltage regulator, it says it's automatic. That's why, because that is the common accepted term now. But it's not, everything isn't automatic, uh, automatically, uh, pun intended. Um, some of it is manual, and that is the definition of it, is you are controlling it. So it's, for the record, it, PWM, the 555 PWM that I designed, uh, <clears throat> and by designed, haters, I mean that I took a design and modified to create something uh, specific for vaping. So for those of you who don't like me saying that I designed something, then fine, uh, I, you know, fuck off. Um, <clears throat> whatever word you want to use to, to apply to what I did, um, the 555 design that all you fuckers use uh, after I came up with it um, is manually regulated. So it's manual voltage regulation. It is by no means unregulated. And that is because anything that you put in there with the purpose of changing the output voltage is regulation. If that is your specific purpose for putting that piece of equipment in there, even if it's a <clears throat> Zener diode, uh, a simple Zener diode that drops voltage across a circuit is a is a voltage regulator. And to an extent, it is an automatic voltage regulator within certain limitations. So just if you have questions, um, you know, comments below, uh, you know where to find me on Facebook. And um, haters suck it. Uh, box modders read the pen post, and I'm out.